Can I please have Second Lieutenant Deontay Diggs join me on stage? He will be telling us about Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office Lieutenant Anthony Mayhew. One of the issues that I have every year is identifying our LGBTQ heroes. It's very difficult. Lieutenant Mayhew's death came to me to my attention, but with little information. I always try to check as many places as I can to find out accurate information. I happen to notice that Deontay was friends with him online. I reached out, I was able to reach out to him and he put me in touch with Anthony's sister and Anthony's partner, Rashawn. Deontay Diggs is the second lieutenant with the Stafford Virginia Sheriff's Office, author, motivational speaker, mentor for at-risk youth, and host of his own Facebook Live show, Cooking with Love. He provides insight and shares his own personal and unique life experiences as a roadmap on how to achieve change and acceptance. Deontay is known by the world as the dancing deputy since his viral dance video to Beyonce's formation, which was as estimated to have been reached over 90 million people internationally. He has made numerous appearances on TV shows such as America's Got Talent, Good Morning America. He also has had numerous articles written about him by, by publications such as Time Magazine. Deontay. Good afternoon, everyone. Before I read the words from uh, Anthony's partner, Rashawn, I just want to tell you a little bit about how uh, him and I connected, and it's really interesting. Uh, many people know me as the dancing deputy, and as I gained this platform, uh, Anthony sent me a friend request. And um, I accepted the friend request, and he was shocked that I accepted the friend request, and I was shocked that he sent me one. Um, it's really interesting because some will look at me as a celebrity, or you know, they put all of these titles, and I look at myself and view myself as just a normal person that's trying to love people and help people get to where they want to be. And so we communicated for a little bit there through uh, Facebook, and. Um, it's interesting how life has brought us or brought me to this moment. There were times where Scott had reached out and asked me to come to different events and because of my schedule, I could not. And then I was able to be here today to honor him uh, several years later after we made that connection through Facebook. So it is an honor to be here. From Anthony's partner, Rashawn Golf. Anthony, I was blessed to have you in my life for 10 years. You brought so much joy to my life and shined a light in me when I couldn't see in dark times. The love we had for each other can't be duplicated. I miss your good morning hugs and kisses. I miss your sweet voice and your affectionate touch. It's been a year since you left us and I still can't believe you're not here. I believe we would have been together forever. You helped me become confident enough to let my guard down and make my heart available to you to hold and protect. I didn't know how to live without you. It's not easy, but I'm healing. You gave me strength, love, and hope. I lost a lot when you left me, but you left me with the greatest gift ever, and it's the memories we shared. I cherish every day I had you. You painted a bright future for us. I will continue to be the Van Gogh of our dreams and make all our dreams real life masterpieces. I may not have gotten the chance to marry my first love, but I'm thankful that I got to spend all those years with my true love because some people never get the chance to even meet their soulmate. I may not be able to fill this empty space in my heart, but our memories fill the days and nights. I love you, Anthony Joseph Mayhew. From Anthony's sister, Holly. Lieutenant Anthony Joseph Mayhew, born on October 17, 1985, and passed away on May 1, 2018 at the age of 32. He was born, raised, and resided in New Orleans, Louisiana. He was the oldest of three children. His parents were Donna Mayhew Brooks and Richard Brooks. He had two siblings, Lee Brooks and Holly Brooks, and three nephews, Lee Brooks Jr., Daryl 
Mikowski Jr., and Kaelin Brooks. He also left behind many aunts, uncles, cousins, and his grandmother, Honeybun. Anthony, from the time he was a young child to the day he passed away, had a passion for singing and dancing. I didn't know a song or dance he couldn't dance or know every word to. His favorite was Kelly Clarkson. He also loved helping and inspiring others. He always went straight to the point, even if it's not something you wanted to hear. Throughout his middle and high school years, he played trumpet among other instruments. In high school, he joined the Air Force, the Junior Air Force, and became one of the highest ranking members. Anthony was part of their drill team and band. He graduated from West Jefferson High School in May of 2005. He, his last year of high school, he worked for Radio Shack. He self-taught himself Spanish so that he could better serve his customers and community. When Hurricane Katrina hit, he made a career change. He became a correctional officer for Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. Anthony worked for them until the day he passed away. In 12 years of being a corrections officer, he worked his way up to lieutenant and was on his way to becoming captain. There wasn't anything he didn't know how to do in the jail. His primary position there was in intake and he loved it. When Anthony wasn't working, he was home with his fur babies, Zeus and Bear. He treated them like royalty. If he was eating a steak, so were they. Anthony loved a lot of things in life, but he loved his family the most. If there was a party or a gathering and he was there, the moment he walked in, the room lit up. If I wanted anyone to know anything about him, it was that he was funny, kind, loving, loyal, hardworking, and generous. He was the type of guy who would give you his last dollar or the shirt off his back. Honestly, I can't say one bad thing about him. We didn't realize the impact that he had made on people in their lives until the day of his service. He had everyone from family, work, and school going back to elementary come and pay their respects. I had asked my family if there was anything they could tell him right now, what would it be? <clears throat> they said that they would tell him I'm so sorry we didn't get to spend the amount of time together, that we didn't speak much, and that we would give anything for you to be here with us today. There isn't a day that goes by that we don't think of you. We love and miss you with every passing moment. We aren't good at goodbyes, so for now, it's not goodbye, it's I'll see you later. You may be gone from our sight, but you are never gone from our hearts. Joining us today is Anthony's partner, Rashawn, Anthony's sister, Holly, his brother, Lee, and his father, Richard. 